thank you to Estee Lauder for sponsoring this video. We are going to make over this bedroom in one day. We have to be done by dinner time. That is the challenge that we've set up for ourselves. Think so. about your space. Do you have a bedroom you want to make over one day? If so, watch, watch this, this video! video. <laughs> Summer is here, and for a lot of us, that means school's out and family trips and fun in the sun begin. We are about to have nine members of Joey's family come in from the mainland to descend on our beach house as they visit the island for the first time, and we need a place for them to stay, which is the perfect opportunity to finally address the ugly elephant on the property. That is our guest house. We call it the Ohana unit. We don't have much time, but of course we do have a lot of creative ideas. We have a billion drums in our garage, so we might as well use them. I'm Kate. I'm Joey. I'm Lily. And we're so happy to take you along on the journey as we create our dream home in paradise. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to talk to you guys today. It's actually a theme of today's video doing more with less and I think you'll really see that in our makeover kind of how simplicity is beautiful kind of simplifying the way you look at things in your life a lot of times in interior design you don't have to do a lot of things to make a space look beautiful and pulled together so that is totally on theme with our sponsor, Estee Lauder, and I am going to show you the Revitalizing Supreme Plus. This is the Youth Power Cream. And the key ingredients are hibiscus morning extract and moringa extract. I truly like love to have a more simplified beauty routine. I've been really trying to do that with just like everything that I do. Becoming a mom truly did like really define that for me just you know finding those moments of self-care that um, are worthwhile and make a difference but don't take too much time I'm using this product just kind of oh, enjoying the smell first of all what I love about it is it gives you that like lifted plumped feeling right away I put it on my neck and my decolletage it provides 72 hours of hydration, which I absolutely love, especially being in this warmer climate. EstéLauder.com, you can shop it online. I love being an online shopping moment. So I cannot recommend this enough. It truly is just such a gorgeous feeling on your skin. I'm just gonna put on some makeup and we're gonna get into that room and we're gonna continue with our theme of doing more with less. And I hope will be a great example of doing more with less in the decorating sense. So, thank you so much, Estee Lauder. I feel so <sighs> luxurious, thank you. Oh, I smell so good too. All right, makeup time. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan in here? Well, Obviously we painted it white. We painted it white, we just had to. It's really ironic because the people before we bought it, they like painted it all different colors. <laughs> like, kind of like what we did in the main house. But we wanted to white it out in here. We did just this like taupey, pretty white to freshen it up because I think in a guest house space, it's nice to go a little bit more neutral when you're welcoming guests, just not to assume that they want to be around a bunch of color and we want them to come here and feel serene and so just a neutral environment which is great for you guys because you're getting like colorful inspo and fun little bit wilder crazy moments in the main house and then maybe some more neutral calming inspo in these spaces so and our goal is to finish this all today like it's like a it's both a practical challenge because we have family coming in that need to stay in here but it's also like a fun challenge to just try to accomplish yeah. it. We used to do these all the time, pre-kid. We used to like go to a thrift store and get a room done in one day. We've got furniture to put together. We've got things. It's gonna be a challenge. I wanna put decals on the ceiling. I didn't tell you that yet. <clears throat> decals on the ceiling! <laughs> we have these amazing new decals. We actually haven't played with them yet. Oh yeah, these are from the new Mr. Kate wallpaper and decal line. Woo! which is not available yet, but very soon. You can go to mrkateathome.com 
to sign up, oh, yeah, to sign and up. you'll be notified when they drop. So it's like shadows of palm fronds. So because we're going for like a very restful vibe in here, we want our guests to know that they're in a tropical environment without it being like thrown too much in their faces. You actually see this style palm out the window. Out the window, you hear the wind through the fronds, which sounds almost like running water. And then under sort of just shadow of palms. That's really cool. And then you cool. open your eyes, you look up at the ceiling, you're like, oh, I'm sleeping under the palm trees. We're gonna bring in some serene furniture. You guys know I love to not do matchy-matchy like sets, so I think we should do a DIY for side tables. So today we're gonna show you how to make your own side tables with just some plywood and a few easy cuts. I'm gonna do the carpentry today. <laughs> Coming for your job. <laughs> you can have it. You can have both jobs. <laughs> no, I don't want it. So you guys have been seeing us use our peel and stick wallpaper inside our house and then these are the decals. It's the same idea. Really easy, removable. And what's so cool is when you order them, you get these two sheets. It's a little bit different. It has like the layered look, and this is one large decal. Okay, so. You're thinking what? I'm thinking what? Well, I'm okay. I'm thinking <laughs> using the molding as the border from which the decal comes out from. I think we could do like two here, or maybe three over there. I guess I'm not really. It's like yeah, I'm gonna lift you up and you can squeegee it on, okay? I'm gonna squeegee it on. <laughs> That's good. I'm done. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll do it. took all of <laughs> 30 seconds. Here is my very simple cut list for these very simple side tables that I want to make. I love the look of natural wood, bringing it in there. We're going to have a painted dresser and an upholstered bed. So I love mixing in different elements. We have this plywood left over. We were using these for the shapes that we cut out for the play structure. The idea is literally just these three pieces that I'm going to cut. This is the top, so a circle. I will be using my handy dandy bass drum from the Click 5 as my template. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have a bass drum at home? Well, that's okay. You can also use a string and a nail and a pencil. That's another really easy way. And we have a billion drums in our garage. <laughs> So we might as well use them. Then these are the two bottom pieces. And so they're essentially the same exact shape. The only thing is that I will be notching out the top of one and the bottom of the other. So they can literally just puzzle together as like a little cross that then the top will be glued on top. <laughs> Okay, ta-da! So from the drawing to reality, here are our three pieces. Goes down into the slot. Ta-da! Ta-da! Can you hand me that? Okay. We're gonna leave this plywood edge bare. If you wanted to finish it, you could get a, a finished band along this edge, but I like the look of this. Drums are really coming in handy for this project. We will let the glue dry and here is our one of two side tables we will be putting next to the bed. All right, so while Kate's 
DIYing some side tables, I'm going to build our moon bed. It's one of my favorite beds. Let's go. All right, so we got the ceiling fan off. The way it was installed, not safe, not up to code. Happens a lot when you take fixtures off, you see someone was lazy before you. One of the things I like to really try to do is to not perpetuate the laziness. So, ceiling fan junction box, cut out the drywall, retrofit this in, and then new ceiling fan. All right, this is my favorite thing about this bed is the underbed storage. It's got four of these drawers. You can pull them all the way out, get them all organized, and then they have wheels on the bottom, scoot them in. They have a latch. They slide in so easily. They latch. Ah! <laughs> we love concealed underbed storage. Way better vibes than seeing like your underbed storage, you know? We're all about being helpful here We're at Mr. Fit. We're all about Fitt. being helpful. Oh my gosh, I am. <clears throat> what? Well, I appreciate your efforts. On what? On the decals. That one is a little bit more like sideways. It's like pointing back this way. I want them all to kind of feel like it's coming out. How hard would it be to reposition it? I mean, they're removable. It shouldn't be hard. Okay, okay. Uh, it's just like a big sticker. No, back the butt up a little bit more. And, oh, and then there, yeah. Okay, yay, it's working. That's actually so good, because sometimes you put things up. Kinda, you just gotta change it. Oh, I'm excited to use this, this one. This is one solid piece. <laughs> this is the Stella dresser. I love how we've got the three drawers and then the smaller drawer and then the cabinet right here. Okay, so we're doing good on time, except we don't wanna get you know, comfortable. We gotta keep the motoring going because we need to get side tables and lamps, bedding. I wanna bring in those luggage racks we got from Ruth Hawaii into the closets because we should make these since they're open, like look like very like, you know, hotel vibes. Ooh, maybe some robes. <laughs> Maybe some robes. <laughs> you know your own strength. I, I'm gonna need dinner soon. I know, okay, so let's go. Okay, so styling for this dresser, I always talk about in guest rooms, it's nice to do minimal styling because it's nice for your guests to come into a more neutral space as opposed to coming into like all these personal items of yours. So this is just this cool little dried situation. And then I got this mirror I'm obsessed with and it was on clearance because it's a little bit damaged up here at the top. Um, but ain't nobody gonna see that. The bed is slightly placed asymmetrically in here so we have enough room for the walkway here. So I'm just like embracing that and hanging the mirror off to the side over this dresser as opposed to directly in the middle. It also helps justify the kind of smaller size of this mirror too. And I love this kind of slightly off-white finish. It's pretty much white. We worked so hard to make sure these handles were like the perfect feather vibe. It's just such a gorgeous finish. It works in so many different environments as well. Like we have the silver curtain rods and they totally go so well with this like slightly more aged gold look. So this is this really pretty, just like super pale blue. I want to keep it neutral in here, but I thought we could just have like a hint of color in the bedding. Comfy pillows for our guests. I don't know if we would be able to do 
<laughs> this 12 hour challenge if we didn't have Nene here to make dinner and take care of him. <laughs> do not attempt this at home if you do not have child care. <laughs> ah! Always put one ring on the outside of your last bracket and that will keep your curtain secured to this end so that when you pull it across, the whole thing doesn't go. But also we have two up on this side and two up on that side because these are really wide windows. So that's another cheat too. So that when you close the curtains, you still have all of that beautiful pleating across as opposed to it being like stretched at an inch of its life. to see what you mean. <sighs> They're masterpieces, let me tell you. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Dude, you could like sell these. I know, I think they turned out so cool. Do you want to erase this your pencil mark? <laughs> 12 hour challenge, are you not understanding here? The pencil marks are going in the back. <laughs> Ooh. I'm obsessed with these. Oh, I know, right? Let's talk lamps. So, funny story, got this lamp and then went to get another one and they were out of this one, but they had this one, same design different shape and I was like I'm gonna go for it because we're playing with asymmetry in here again we've been talking about how you know we're sort of offsetting the mirror we have the bed over slightly a little bit so that we've got a nice walkway here between the dresser here going here my little cutie shapely lady over here even though it's a super simple room there's still those like slightly unexpected things so love it huge discovery. We're always finding stuff in this house. I was getting rid of the uh, stuff that was in this closet and I, there's this hole in the carpet right here. You see that hole? And I figured it was a sewer clean out or something like that. That would be too normal. You're probably going to be as excited as me when you see this. Aww, what the heck is that? Is that just a floor? What is that? Ready? Oh, shoot! What the heck, dude? I've always, first of all, first of all, I love hidden treasure. I have a metal detector, you guys, I use on the beach, okay? Talk about hidden treasure. I'm gonna be watching YouTube videos for the next like week until I get this thing open. Don't worry, we're putting this video out after I get this open. So there's no point in you coming and trying to get into this safe. But like, what could be in here? No one ever disclosed to me on the sale of this house that there was a safe in here, so. This is quite the treat. Wait, that was under that circle? I saw that, I just thought maybe it was like a pipe or something. <gasps> oh my God. It almost looks like someone already at some point tried to like screw through this. I might have to just like get some dynamite. We just finished the room and you're gonna explode dynamite in here. Hey Moon, yeah. tell me three numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I don't think that's gonna be the code, but I'll try it. So I have my supplies here to style these two open closets. As you saw, this room before was like pretty run down. We decided to not deal with like the broken <laughs> closet doors for these. So I've got these luggage carts, which we got at Reuse Hawaii, the salvage place. And I just love it because I just think it's so like hotel vibes to have a luggage cart for your guests. And I've got these robes, nice clean robes, some baskets for laundry. So as they're here, they can feel like they can unpack and have places. There's also a washing machine and dryer here in this little Ohana unit so they can do their laundry while they're here. So yeah. I think I'm gonna cover up the safe with one of those baskets because the safe is a little creepy to me, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm 
I'm thinking this piece of art. This is from our Mr. Kate artwork line. Um, dream wildly, love freely, like such a beautiful sentiment. Also for it being in a guest room. I love that it has a little bit of this kind of antique gold brings in the poles from the dresser and then the leaf motif that's coming out obviously is reminiscent of what we did with the decals. These pieces come all ready framed and ready for your wall. The hardware is already on the back to hang it easily and safely. I think it is actually our most simple room we've ever done. But I think that's good for guests. Let's also note that we only had a day to do it. But I think there's some really on trend things. I think the side tables turned out really well. I love how our bed works in here. I just think it's very serene and it makes people wanna nap. Hopefully. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Whoa. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? to welcome guests here even though like this whole place needs a, needs a whole renovation those but. tables were like that was the icing on the cake for a makeover in a day right i yeah. think they're so chic make those at home do them shorter do them wider make them into a coffee table so cute we still have a living room kitchenette and second bedroom that we need to make over for kids oh we have the outdoor kitchen. patio lanai then lanai Okay, so see you you'll, next see, time. you'll see my family's reaction to this space, but in the future video. Also, I'm gonna break into the safe. Oh gosh. Well, let's do that quick. Coming up on Mr. Kate Takes on Paradise. We're sitting on our lanai getting tattooed. This is like a dream come true for us. Are you phoning a friend right now? Yes, because you were occupied. It's time to break in to this safe. Oh, that stuck there. Estee Lauder for sponsoring this video.